So we're over the giant hurdles again, but it's a two and a half mile trip this time, and it's for five year olds and upwards. And the top ones is Muff Raj Wisdom for Alex Cherry, Ursus Feather for Davy Ladd, Quali Bit Malt for him, Sherwood Forest for Leon Van Rensburg, Extreme Valiant and Honest for Martin Leadham, Five Star General for Paul Rhodes, Intimar for Darren Howes, Zahima Goodnight for Darren Thompson, Good Yarn for him, Dallas Tower and the Broken Hearted for Joshua Sutherland, Fortunately, Leon Van Rensburg, Marilyn Monroe, Paul Rhodes, and Mumbo Mistress for Graham Clutterbuck. They're already racing. And down towards the first of these huge hurdles at Oi Toy, we can see the landscape in the background as they make their way towards the first then and over it they go with Extreme Valiant just about the leader so Extreme Valiant then in the orange jacket the leader but being joined by Marilyn Munro in second then comes Good Yarn and Intimar and Sherwood for a short run of the second Extreme Valiant skipped over that one nicely and has regained a clear lead of about a length to a similarly jacketed Intimar, that one's got black sleeves, that's for Darren Howes. Then Good Yarn and Marilyn Munro, then comes Sherwood Forest as they take flight three. And they're all safely over that one. Didn't see any fallers in the first hurdles race. And let's hope we don't see any in this as well. An extreme Valiant gave that one a bit of a jump, didn't he, sir? So we'll skip over that. This toy, toy track is very different to the one in SO6. And it looks pretty interesting. And Extreme Valiant is the leader. Oh, good yarn in second. In tomorrow, and then Marilyn Monroe. Then honest and fortunately, if it's been rebuilt completely, let's hope they've got away with that um, invisible fence that we used to get. If you remember in the chase races, there's one or two races every season where there's an invisible fence. They all jump up in the air. It caught me out four or five seasons ago. My first season commentating. I don't know how I managed to do the rest of the commentary. As they skip over number six. And over that one they go. And five star general struck a little bit out the back and. I said earlier, it's been interesting if you've been reading the forms as they come to the fence seven. Extreme Valiant's got a good lead of about five lengths. But the difference, if you've watched the races earlier, Paul Rhodes done particularly well in a flat, but he's not doing so well in these jump races so far. And it definitely looks like there's a difference this year between your flat cast offs going over the jumps and having specific ones. And they go past the winning post with a circuit to go. Extreme Valiant is a clear leader of about four lengths. From Good Yarn in second, Intimar is third, then a gap back to Fortunately in fourth. Then the main body of the field are headed by Zahima Goodnight, Sherwood Forest after that one. Marilyn Munro has dropped back a little bit as they take flight eight, and that's half the jumping done now then. And Five Star General is right out the back, and Mambo Mistress is also beginning to drop away a little bit, as is the Broken Hearted. So pace must be a pretty tough one I think being set by Extreme Valiant who's the leader and leads by about two as they skip over number nine gets over that one nicely good yarn is next and then Intimar if you look towards the back I can't see Mambo Mistress getting into this at all I've got no idea where five star general's gone we don't normally get pull-ups over two and a half miles unless they're injured so whether we're going to get one or not I don't know but Extreme Valiant is clear in front good yarn is second and Intimar is third then a big gap back to fortunately and Zahima Goodnight and Sherwood Forest, those two Leon Van Rensburg horses getting ominously closer as they take number 10. And watch them all skip over that one. There's the back two, so maybe not quite as far behind as we thought. Five star general, but it will take something of a five star miracle for him to win. And Extreme Valiant lands over that one in the lead, as he has done over all of them so far. With good yarn, the grey second, and look at fortunately creeping up from the old conquering Leon Van Rensburg. Jumping stable as they take flight number 12, Extreme Valiant. Time in the lead might be coming to an end soon, I would think, with the way that the Van Rensburg horse is going. It's Extreme Valiant, comes down to the 13th, gets over it nicely, so too did Fortunately. These two are clear as they quickly get over number 14, and it's Extreme Valiant, and Fortunately, we see them all over it. There goes the back marker, but it's Extreme Valiant, still in front by three quarters of a length, but not going anywhere near as well as Fortunately in second. Then a gap back to the grey good yarn, Mufraj Wisdom, Ursus Feather, Dallas Tower and Honest, still trying to get into it, Intimars drops away, and now Fortunately takes it up as they race towards the final two flights but Extreme Valiant is being valiant extremely and trying to fight back it's fortunately in the lead now fortunately begins to assert gets to the second last skips over it nicely Extreme Valiant second running on well is Dallas Tower and coming down towards the final flight now then 
and fortunately he's in the lead Extreme Valiant is second over it they go and it's fortunately in the lead from Extreme Valiant here comes Dallas Tower throwing down a big charge then a gap back to the Broken Hearted and Zahima Goodnight but fortunately inside the final furlong the jockey's easing up he's having a look over his shoulder here comes Dallas Tower Dallas Tower's getting closer but fortunately it's fortunately got enough left in the tank and the jockey won't need the sack fortunately wins it Dallas Tower second then the Broken Hearted long time leader Extreme Valiant was fourth then Zahima Goodnight and Paul Rhodes has finished last and last but one so so that's a really interesting thing to take from these races that Paul is doing so well on the flat and he's doing so poorly in the first two jumps races so that's got to be really interesting especially as Leon seems to be doing well in both so fortunately takes it for Leon van Rensburg Dallas Tower second for Joshua Sutherland who also gets third so maybe he's not as far behind as he thinks he is the broken hearted third and extreme valiant was four four miles lead and that's me and it's also interesting there that on the flat my horses kept finishing last and last but one but on the two jumps races they've finished in the money so there's definitely something in this national hunt horses being proper national hunt horses this year and not just flat cast offs